Um, all right, so we are recording. Okay, so before I dive into these slides real quick, I wanted to just first off like formally welcome you to our team and um, new coach kickoff, new coach training, all of the things. Um, and um, and kind of just give you guys a couple little like off the get up like off, off the bat kind of tips um, and then kind of just dive into a few more things um, and kind of just share some like expectations ish um, but also know that like this is your coaching business so you know what I do doesn't necessarily be what you doesn't necessarily have to be what you do and how much you you know want to build this business versus you know how much you're able to and all of that stuff too thanks <laughs> he must have known i didn't even ask and here it comes <laughs> oh i guess we're doing that tonight um <laughs> so um so anyway um you know you have you have the potential to to make this you know exactly what you want to and know that like you're not going to get it all in the first week and you're not going to, you know, it's not going to magically, you know, happen on day one. And it does take time and it does take effort. Um, I will tell you, you know, in my first year of coaching, I very much held myself back and I very much like had a lot of like fear and doubt and hesitation because I am a serial people pleaser and worry about what other people think of me and um and really was just kind of fearful of my own like ability to do things and just didn't want to fail anyone and just you know was worried that like i was a terrible leader and things like that so i just really kind of didn't live up to my true coach potential and when i really started diving in um and, and you know, really diving into personal development and things like that, I really saw my business start to grow, but mostly it was because of my mindset. So um, I will tell you from day one, like if you can listen to podcasts, if you can pick up a book, like The Compound Effect is a great one to start with, The Slight Edge is a great one to start with, um, something that's going to kind of pump your mind with those like, you know, ideas and thoughts that like, you can certainly do this and you can certainly do more. Um, there are bunches of other coaches that, you know, myself included, that have started with like little to no experience at all doing anything like this. And like, I don't have a like sales background per se. Um, I, you know, bartended and um, I did work in retail, but like it, this kind of, you know, like, sales type thing wasn't my forte and where I don't like to think of Beachbody as a sales company because we're more about helping people get results and it's not that we're trying to sell a product and then peace out we're like helping people on a journey um but you know just kind of understanding how Beachbody works as a whole um, really helped me a little bit more and um and then just kind of um totally just lost my train of thought. Haven't even had wine yet. Um, but anyway, uh, um, I don't know where I was going with that. But um, anyway, just kind of diving into some of the things that, you know, I've provided you guys with um, really kind of helped me get a grasp on like the actual like physical business. Um, but also knowing that like, it is what you make it and like you can just kind of do it however you want to do it. Um, so I'm going to give you some tangible tips throughout um, tonight's little new coach kickoff call and then um, we'll follow up with another one next week um, and then kind of just continue from there. And I'm going to continue to pump that message thread through uh, um, with some things that um, will give you, you know, support and you know, ideas and stuff like that. Um, but also know that, you know, whether I'm your coach or someone else on our team um, is your coach um, know that you can reach out at any time any questions that you have like you're not bothering me this is my job i love to help people succeed i wouldn't be doing this if i didn't um, so if there's something that you know you're not sure about or if you're like actually i you know i i want to post this but i'm not really sure what you know how should i word this a little bit better or can you help me with this conversation that i'm having like we all learn and grow together i've been coaching almost six years and i still reach out to my coach at least once a month to just catch up and talk and like have her help me with certain things that like, 
I'm struggling with as a coach or as a leader or anything in between. Um, or, you know, to message her and say, can you kick my butt into gear? Cause my nutrition has kind of lacked lately and I need you to like coach me and tell me to like get it together. Um, so it doesn't matter how far along you are in this business, um, that, you know, sometimes you just need to lean in and need to know that somebody else is there to support you and help you out. Um, so any questions you guys have about any of this, um, and what, and what I'm going to tell you right now may send you for the hills uh, or it may completely inspire you but um, sometimes people are going to say no and sometimes it's going to be hard and sometimes you're going to say man like oh i want to quit but i promise you that you know every day that you show up and someone reads a post that you posted or sees a workout that you did or you know hears something that you said in your stories um, or just knows that your presence is there, whether it's inside of a challenge group or whether it's on your social media, you have an incredible power to help somebody change their life and change their mindset. So as coaches, we are amazing teachers um, and we're just kind of learning as we go and just teaching the things that we're learning to help other people get the results, whether they're as coaches or whether they're in our challenge group. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick and see if I can present this the right way. Come on, catch up to my speed. There we go. Okay. Um, so if you have signed up as a coach, you should have received a new coach email from me or from the coach you signed up with. If not, you can dive into the units in our team page that's in there. Um, the new coach email, that I send out has, you know, kind of a few steps, some ideas, and then there's just a kind of a bulk of like, these are some things that will help you build and grow your business. So we have a new coach handbook um, that is a completely self-paced like tool and resource of things that you can either print out or PDF or things that you can dive into. There's a ton of videos in there and where it's not meant to overwhelm you. I know there's a lot of content in there. It's something that you can kind of take and run with as you go. Um, and it's a good place to, if you have questions, not trying to discourage you from asking questions, but a lot of times you can kind of find them in that new coach handbook um, or in the um, Team Beachbody FAQs um, or in our team page. Um, or sometimes Google. Like for me, sometimes I still have to Google things. Like I'm like, how do I do something, something, something on Instagram? And like Google most of the time will tell me. Um, we do have our team page. We do have the units in our team page. So if you're on a desktop, you can scroll over to the left and it says units and there's a bunch of different units in there with resources for learning a little bit more about coaching. If you're on your phone, it's in the top little bar. There's, you know, like photos, notes, whatever it says, units. Um, and then there's also the Beachbody Champions page, which you can just search on Facebook um, and work through the units in there. And there's a bunch of very successful coaches sharing little five to 10 minute videos talking about like building your business on social media, inviting people, um, posting on social media, um, you know, ways to build and grow your Instagram. Um, creating an email list, um, understanding the coach online office, adding value to your challenge groups. I mean, just tons of topics in there. Um, and then kind of the vital behaviors is something that you'll hear over and over again, whether it's on the national wake up call every Monday, or, you know, we're talking about it with our, you know, beach body tracker. Um, or, you know, you may hear me as your coach say, you know, Ashley, man, I just really don't feel like my business is growing. Well, are you doing your vital behaviors? Are you doing like the like the kind of like the basic, um, you know, job description type things that we do as a coach. Um, and a lot of times it comes back to like this tracker and the things that we do on a day to day basis that grows our business. Um, and bottom line, again, like I said before, you've got this, like it's your business, you get to do it however you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> and, um, and you can certainly make some amazing things happen with coaching. Can I? Okay. Um, so I kind of like to share this as a like little like, well, you can do this um, month one goals. Um, first, you know, we really kind of dive into this business activity tracker. So um, what's so great about this business activity tracker, which it's in our team page, it's in the team Beachbody um, uh, 
it's in the coach online office. It's, um, it's in our uh, team handbook. What am I trying to say? And I believe I attached it in the new coach email as well. Um, but I print this out and I use this, um, like a, you know, little laminated thing that you put in a binder. I don't know what they're called. Um, but this, I just, it's easy because I use a dry erase marker and I just check off my boxes and then I don't have to print out a hundred different things of these. I just keep it on my desk, sit down and do my power hour. And then I use this. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about crafting quality posts. We're going to talk a little bit about inviting, um, you know, that yes, this is technically in theory, a sales, um, company, but I don't want you guys to think of being a salesperson. I don't want you to think of this as a, you know, um, direct sales. Like I've got to sell a whole bunch of products um, because we, you know, you may have heard our CEO say it's not a multi-level marketing company. We're a multi-level helping company. So we're focusing on helping people get results. Um, we're helping to helping give them the tools that we all use and love um, to guide them in the right direction. And you know, we're coaches, we know, we see the things happen. We follow the nutrition programs, we follow the workouts. Um, we, you know, drink Shakeology, we use Performance Line, um, we show up for our workouts, we have accountability groups, and those are the things that create those consistent results. Um, and no is also a great thing, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but one, um, one story that I heard very early on um, as a coach was I was at a leadership training and they were talking about how um, how we invite and how you know we ask people like you know have you ever thought about joining an accountability group or maybe you're struggling with nutrition you're having a conversation with somebody and you said you know have you ever thought about doing what I do or you know have you ever you know thought about the support of, of having a group um, and how you know sometimes we're like oh I just it, it makes me nervous to ask somebody that because what if they say no? Well, every waiter in a restaurant, after they serve dinner and they remove the dinner plates, they come around and they say, you know, would you like a dessert menu? Would you like coffee? And they ask every table the same thing. And every table may say yes, they may say no. Either way, the waiter's not offended because it's his job to ask and it's his job to offer. So that's what our job is as coaches. It's our job to offer the opportunity. It's our job to say, hey, I have this really awesome stuff if you want it. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm not offended. But now I've planted that seed so you know it's there. So that way you know, you know what, if you change your mind and you're like, actually, yeah, I do think I want a cup of coffee. Do you mind like bringing that back? Yes, I am here. I've planted the seed. I've given you um, that guidance so that way you know that there's something here for you whether you want it now or not. And that way, when that friend in six months from now goes, you know, I've really been thinking, um, do, can, I, can I still join your group? I actually had a girl reach out to me today and, said, and asked, um, she's got some stuff going on and she said, will you still be doing groups in December? Because I think I'd be ready in December. And I was like, Yep, I'll be here. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so just sometimes people knowing that, like, it's there for them um, does make a difference. Um, so kind of early on goals, um, we talk about, like, earning back your investment. We talk about, you know, getting your Shakeology paid for. We talk about signing up your first three people. We talk about hitting emeralds. Um, and those are some great goals to focus on for that first month. Now, is it required that you do these things? No, again, absolutely not. Like if you're in it for the discount, that's great. You're getting a 25% discount. Um, but if you are working toward building to that next step of your business and you wanna maybe get your Shakeology paid for and then some, or you want a little extra like fun money on the side, or you know, you've got a few friends that are like, I'm totally interested in doing what you're doing and you're like, cool, well, let's do this together. I love the accountability. Um, then, you know, your first big goal would be to hit success club and get to Emerald. So success club, we've kind of talked about in the past, um, is when you sign three people up in your, you know, in, in any calendar month, um, with a challenge pack or as a coach with a challenge pack. And then when you do that, you get two success club points. Um, and then three times puts you in success club. So there's success club five, there's success club 10, 
Um, what the difference is, there's not a huge difference. Um, if you're shooting just for three people a month, then you're gonna wanna hit Success Club 5. If you kinda wanna see your business build and grow a little faster and your income build a little faster, then shoot for Success Club 10 um, and aim to help five people versus three. Um, you do have extra perks when um, you hit Success Club 10. Um, you get not just, um, like when you're an Emerald coach and you hit Success Club, then Beachbody gives you free leads, which means anybody that signs up with Beachbody, um, they're assigned to a coach. So if you're an Emerald coach and you've hit Success Club that month before, you may start to see people pop up in your back office that says new customer because they went to beachbody.com and signed up or they went to Amazon and purchased some old school DVDs or they went on whatever um, website and signed up and got um, assigned to a coach and that will be you. Success Club 10, you just get paid leads. So instead of signing up and they're you know, a free customer, then people that have signed up, you get um, that extra volume and commission as well. Um, so for me, my first, um, my first people were I signed up a friend from high school. Um, my mom signed up as a coach. Um, I signed up my husband as a coach. And then I had like a random lady at a holiday party um, after I had recently started coaching, asked me about health and fitness and she signed up like the next week. Um, so some of my first customers and coaches were good friends, husband, um, mom. Um, and so that's, you know, if you're like, all right, you know what, I want to get my business going off the ground. I'm like, my, I know my mom's in, or I know my siblings in, or I know, you know, my husband, like we're ordering performance and daily sunshine and this and that. So I'm going to sign up my significant other. Um, then those are definitely options. And if you're ready to do that, like, let's have a conversation about it. And for me, as somebody who decided, you know what, like, I'm going to go all in and build a business, I signed up my husband right away. So I would have a second business center, essentially, that was my own. Um, and that could also generate and produce income. And then I would get double, you know, the volume from underneath my husband's account, as well as my own. That's a conversation for another day, but from a business perspective, it does make a lot of sense if that's something that you wanna do. Um, <clears throat> we do have an Emerald training that we're actually gonna dive into next week. So it'll be a 24 hours to Emerald. If you're not an Emerald coach yet and you want to work toward that, um, then we'll have that going on next week. Or if you're an Emerald and you're like, I wanna keep building from that, like that's kind of, this is kind of a next step. Um, and then success starter month one. So if you hit success club in your first three out of six months in the business, then you snag a spot as um, success starter. Um, and what that means is you're recognized at summit. Um, you get a one-on-one-ish. On, one on one um, it's like a small call with um, a corporate mentor. Um, sometimes it's Carl, our CEO. Sometimes it's... Um, uh, Michael Neiman, who is like one of the, he's like the CFO um, <clears throat> or the COO, he's something. Um, and then um, you get uh, a free ticket to Beachbody Coach Summit. So hopefully next year, we won't be doing it virtually. Hopefully we'll be in an actual city next year um, and you'll get a free ticket. So tickets are usually anywhere between $195 to $295, depending on when you purchase your ticket. Um, so what's cool is, and then you're recognized at Summit. You get a fancy little thing on your name tag. Um, your name goes up on the wall. Um, and then you're recognized um, through corporate as well for being a success starter. And, oh, side little perk about that is when you hit Success Club three out of six, three out of six months, your first six months as a coach, you also get a spot in a test group for a new program that's launching. So when we decide, like, Hey, like, cause they're, oh, summits this week. So they're going to be announcing programs. Like when they do that test group for the next program that's coming out probably in October or November, um, cause we'll have another new program released this year. So stay tuned for all the announcements from summit this week. Um, then as a success starter, you'll snag a spot in the test group before the other coaches get to do it. So again, another perk is earning back your initial investment. Um, and then those extra commissions. So typically when you sign up a coach with a challenge pack, you earn a $50 like a coach fast start bonus. Um, so you do that three times, you paid for your Shakeology, you paid for your coach business service fee um, as well. And then you've got a little extra. All right, so diving into the business activity tracker. Um, can you guys see this or do you just see? 
is it your faces or there? Okay, maybe I can move it like this. I don't know if you guys can see better. Okay, so this what is our business that? activity tracker. Um, <clears throat> so again, this is something that like I follow when I, I try to sit down for an hour every day and I work through this. Now on here is, you know, it gives you kind of a time breakdown and you can look through this and you can go, okay, that's gonna take me more than an hour to do, Ashley. Like, I mean, there's no way I can do all these things in an hour. Okay, perfect. So like workout and drink shakeology, like that's something you're doing every day. So like you just know, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna drink my shake every day or your performance line, whatever you're using. That's a, that's a no brainer. This block number two is kind of where I really focus my time um, when I'm working my business. So when I first started, I had three kids under age six. I had just gone back to nursing school full time. My husband just started a new position where he was traveling. I didn't have time to work my business, yet I was like, I'm gonna be a coach because I need to add something else to my plate. So I was like, you know what? I am going to work for 15 minutes on my lunch break while I'm in nursing school. I'm gonna get up an extra 30 minutes early in the morning. I'm gonna spend 30 minutes after I put the kids to bed and I'm gonna do these things that I like to call IPAs, income producing activities. I'm gonna do these things that are gonna help grow my business. Now, if you're like, Ashley, I'm just, I'm not sure that I'm there yet that's okay. You can take this and break it down to a much smaller scale. Actually, I can't remember if I sent it to everyone, but I can post it in the message thread. We have a power of threes document that is basically like three people a day. And I know that sounds kind of scary if you've never done anything like this before. But for me, it was connecting with three people every day through my social media posts, through my stories. Um, adding in those call to actions every now and then. So that way you would have somebody who would say, yeah, like, what are you doing? Tell me more. Or yes, you know, I want to reach out to you. I'm definitely interested. Or, you know, you put a poll in your Instagram stories and somebody clicks on it and then you respond to their, to their response um, and ask them, you know, what's your routine like? How can I help you? What interests you? What sparked your interest? Um, so a power of threes document is kind of a smaller scale of this. And I'll send that in the message thread after we get off. Um, but what I do love about using a tracker is sitting down and going, okay, I'm going to check my boxes off. So when I do initiate connections and add followers, I go into my Instagram and I typically do this on Instagram. So if you don't have an Instagram account, that's okay. If you want to create one, by all means, go ahead. You can also do this through Facebook. Um, and I'm going to just give you some ideas here. Um, so that way you can kind of use the time to do this on your own. Um, and also if you want to jump on a power hour, um, whenever we do them, I also have some recorded power hours too. And there's actually in the Beachbody Champions page, some action hours that you can go in there in the units and follow along like with your tracker and just kind of hear how some other coaches do this too. But what I love to do about this, you know, when I sit down, I go to like, as far as initiate connections and add followers goes, I like to go into another account that I follow. So like, say for example, um, I am reading, this is my devotional right now. Um, and this is Becky Thompson and she, her Instagram is scissor tail silk. Um, and she's like a Christian woman who talks a lot about family and her children and her faith. Um, so I'll go into her account and I'll go to like her last couple posts and I'll go in and see who is following, who is commenting. And I will go to those people's account and just like some of their pictures. I usually do the three, one, one. So like three likes, one comment, and then I follow them, one follow. Um, and the reason why I do that is because it builds, not only does it build your Instagram following, which gives you more um, people to connect with, um, but it's people that are like minded with myself whenever it's somebody you know something i have in common with them so like i will go in and do like gymnastics mom hashtag and go in and like find other moms that i can connect with and my purpose isn't hey let me see if i can sell you a challenge pack real quick it's can i build relationships with people that have similar interests as i do and then ultimately if we are friends and we kick it off great and if not, like no hard feelings. Um, but you know, when you're when you're thinking about building a team, when you're thinking about building a challenge group, when you're thinking about 
building relationships, you want to do it with people that you have similar interests with. So like I, you know, tend to go into accounts that, you know, like there's an account called uh, Mommy Loves Vodka. And there's a lot of like sarcastic moms, you know, in there that I can relate to. And that also like vodka that are moms, you know, or moms that like to drink wine and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, I'll go into like Midwest mom or hashtag 30 something um, and connect with other people that have similar interests. STL, you know, St. Louis, Cardinals, Blues, um, and find other people that, um, that I can build a relationship with. Um, and then usually, you know, that three, 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 one, one, three, like I'll go to someone's account and do like three likes, one comment, whether it's a, oh my gosh, I, and, and of course this is authentic. Like, oh my gosh, I love your dress. Where did you get it? Or, oh, I saw that book that you posted about. Tell me about it. I'm looking for something new to read this summer. Or, you know, what is that recipe that you made that looks delicious? Or when did you go on that trip? That's, you know, wherever that was, you know, looks awesome. Um, so building that genuine connection. Um, so I usually, it says 20 minutes on here. I can usually do that in five to 10. Um, and I usually set a goal to, you know, make 10 to 20 new connections in that amount of time. Um, 10 minutes, do a social media post that showcases the benefits of your healthy lifestyle or has a call to action. Um, so there's a reason why I do this um, social media for the week tracker because it just really helps me like kind of refocus when I have those squirrel moments. This is what I want to talk about this week. These are some things on my agenda that I want to talk about this week. These are some things I want to post about. Um, and I will spend maybe five to 10 minutes during that power hour writing something in my notes that I can use as a post later um, or spend a couple minutes, you know, searching an inspirational quote that I can use to add into a post later. And a lot of times I do them in my notes. So that way, you know, if for some reason I'm trying to type something on Facebook and I get called away, I go back and then everything is deleted and then I lose my mind because it happens all the time. Um, so if you type it in your notes, you can always go back to it too. Um, and then updating your Instagram, Facebook story throughout the day. Um, again, this is a great way to share what you're doing without like, you know, going live on Facebook if that like intimidates you a little bit or, um, you know, you can still kind of just share your daily life and, and not gonna lie, people are nosy. I can post something on Facebook and it'll have like five likes and then I'll post it in my stories and like, 115 people will view it. And I'm like, oh, really? So people want to know what you're doing behind the scenes. And if you're working out, if you're eating healthier, if you're sharing a healthy lifestyle, I just kind of incorporate that throughout my day. I usually talk about a recipe that I'm making, or I share a few clips from my workout, or I talk a little bit about my nutrition, or like tonight I was sitting on my back porch reading, um, and just little things like that that I share um, that just help people get to know me a little bit better without actually, you know, coming to my house and getting to know me sitting down face to face. So these are just a couple things that I do um, throughout the day that I encourage you to do throughout the day as well. Um, and then responding to new likes, comments, or views, this typically comes from a post. So like if you do a transformation post and then you have people that respond on your post or say like, oh my gosh, congratulations, what are you doing? Or, you know, just giving you praise or you're, you know, you post something, maybe you post a healthy recipe and several people say, oh my gosh, can you message me that? Or, you know, where did you find this stuff? Or whatever it is, responding to those people that are engaging on your posts. Not necessarily saying, hey, thanks for the love on my post, do you wanna buy a challenge pack? But just beginning to build that relationship. Thanks so much for the love, it means a lot to me. It took a lot for me to post that transformation. I just want you to know that having your support means the world. Um, are you doing anything for health and fitness too? You can always add that in there. Um, so you can break this down too, and you don't have to do this for 25 minutes. Um, but set a timer. If you're gonna sit down and you're gonna do some checkoff boxes, I like to set a timer and go, okay, let me, I, I got 15 minutes. What can I do in 15 minutes? I'm gonna do five minutes of this, five minutes of this, five minutes of this. Um, and then the invite people, at least five, that power of three tracker I'll send to you guys too, um, to join a challenge group or learn about coaching. And this is not typically a cold message. I am not a fan of sending cold messages. I just, sometimes it just feels icky. It just feels like 
you know, if you've never talked to this person or maybe the last time you talked to them was in high school, I'm just not a fan of going, hey, Susie, we haven't talked in 20 years, but I'm starting a group, do you wanna join me? Um, I just would much rather build a relationship. So the invites typically come from, like if somebody has viewed all of my stories and I've talked a lot in my stories about our new MBF program, I might send them a message and say, hey, Sally, um, I saw that you were in my stories today and you were, you know, you saw my stories about that new fitness program. I'm not sure if you're interested or not, but just in case you were, I wanted to send you an invite. Have you thought about jumping into this program with me? And just keeping it super simple. Um, same thing with like posts where I talk about transformations. If somebody says, I'd like more information or somebody maybe says, I wish I had your discipline. I wish I had motivation like that. Um, then I don't hesitate to send them a message and say, you know, I have this accountability community and I, it's made a big difference in my life and it's helped me stay on track. Is that something that you need? And just keeping it simple. Um, and then <clears throat> same thing with coaching. If you're talking about coaching, if you're talking about what you do as a coach um, and someone, you know, gosh, that sounds really awesome. Then I'm sending them an invite and I'm saying, you know what, like it is, and you should totally do this with me. Um, or have you ever thought about this? Or, um, you know, somebody in my family reaches out and, you know, inquires about whatever, um, then I'm inviting them to learn a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> and then also too, which I'll get to, um, is whenever I'm talking to people about enrolling, I always lead with that enroll as a coach because you get a 25% off discount. Um, and anything that you order in the future. And especially if they're military, military spouse, military vet, um, active reserve, um, they get their um, coach business service fee waived. There's just a form you can Google or you can look in the um, Beachbody FAQs um, and it, they'll just submit their DD-214 and it'll waive their monthly business service fee. And then just the follow-ups, just people that you've had conversations with. I like to do my follow-ups typically on like Tuesdays and Thursdays and then do um, inviting like Monday, Wednesday, um, and then kind of just a mixture of both on Fridays as well. Um, so sometimes for me, it just makes more sense for me to do like not to necessarily do this every single day, but like to break it down and go, okay, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm really going to focus on having conversations with people. Mondays and Wednesdays, Wednesday, Wednesdays, I'm going to focus on going back to those people that expressed interest before and following up with them. And then um, the recognition shout out. Oh, that's not on this slide. That's on the next one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, and then, you know, three and four on this business activity tracker um, is just getting people results, contributing to your challenge group showing up in your accountability group, accountability community. If you're in ours, if you're running it with other coaches, um, it's just going in there and checking on the people that you've enrolled. It's just adding value. It's commenting on other people's posts. Um, it's encouraging other people, recognize achievement. So if you're you know, helping other people get results, maybe you're shouting them out in the challenge group. Maybe you're shouting them out in your stories if they're okay with that. Um, you know, as your team grows, you're recognizing that achievement um, within, your, within your team. Um, and then responding to questions from customers and coaches, um, you know, this is, we have that on here at another 30 minutes. As a brand new coach, there's not a ton of time spent here until your business really begins to grow or you're seeing, you know, you're helping a lot of people get results. Um, and I can typically do this in like 10 minutes a day, um, contributing into my challenge group, checking in with challengers, um, recognizing achievement and just kind of breaking that down. And then your personal development, you should be spending about 10 to 20 minutes a day on personal development, whether you're reading, listening to a podcast, you know, watching something that's going to help your business grow um, as well. And that kind of breaks down your tracker. And then um, real quick, touching on crafting quality posts. Um, <clears throat> so um, I kind of mentioned um, earlier about, you know, how I can post something and get like five likes and then, you know, 120 people or whatever in my stories will see it. Just a little sidebar on that. Um, you can post, you know, you can spend hours typing up the perfect post and have the most amazing image and like just feel like all the expression from your heart 
and then post it on social media and it's like crickets and it's like what I, that was really heartfelt like what how come nobody responded to that well that doesn't matter because the amount of likes that you get the amount of comments that you get don't define your successes as a person as a coach or anything in between um know that you know, I share my journey not to see how many likes I can get. I share my story not to see how many people can comment, like, sign me up. I share it because I need to know that, like, one person out there may need to see that, and that, like, helps them get off the couch that day. Or something that spoke to me, I want to share it because it may be something that helps somebody else. Or something that I'm struggling with, if I can share that, maybe somebody else that's struggling can see that and they don't have to like it. They don't have to comment. But my job as a coach is to not only be, you know, a friend maker and help other people see the value in taking time for themselves, but it's to realize that they're not alone and that maybe something they're struggling with, they don't have to share it publicly. They don't have to talk about it publicly, but they need to know that somebody here does care and somebody here is going to keep showing up even when it's hard. Um, your social media is a platform for adding value and building your business. And I always think about that, you know, when I sit down to do a post, how am I contributing value? And not every post is going to be like that. Sometimes I share memes and I share, you know, taco Tuesday stuff and, you know, just whatever I decide to share. But when I'm posting, you know, is this going to connect with my audience? Is this something that's, that's contributing value to somebody that may read my post? How can I add value? Well, you can do that in um, what I like to say is like five simple ways. And, you know, maybe get with your significant other or a good friend and ask for a little help and say, hey, you know, what are like five things that you notice about me that make me who I am? Or if you could describe me in five words, what would it be? Or, you know, what are three things that you know that I love? You know, those posts that are like, um, use three words to describe me, you know, and I'm like, I haven't posted it because I'm afraid of what people are going to say. Like, oh, I probably shouldn't post that one. Um, but, um, but those little things can be kind of used as guidance for yourself and what to post on social media. So like for me, my five things are probably my faith my family, food, fitness, and then just like overall like balance, like nutrition, cocktails, you know, enjoying a, a balanced kind of life. So those are kind of the things that I typically post about on social media. Um, I would love to say that one of my things was travel, but that just doesn't happen, um, as, and especially now. Um, but, you know, little things that kind of define you and make you who you are and or things that, like, you're extremely passionate about or things that you love are great things to kind of post about. So if somebody comes to your page, like, if you're going to do a quick inventory of your social media, like, what are some things that you would want somebody to take away from visiting your social media page? And then just ultimately sharing your story, talking about who you are, what you do, why you do it, um, and just being genuinely, authentically yourself. <clears throat> I got very wrapped up in very, very early on as a coach because I thought everything that I posted had to be about Beachbody. I thought I needed to post my Shakeology every day and I needed to post my, you know, I'm day two, 21 day fix, done. Um, and I wasn't contributing value. I was just posting to post and I wasn't telling the story. And I think what's so important, and you guys can see this this week during summit week, as we have all of these amazing trainings coming at us in the Beachbody Champions page, you can go in and listen to these trainings and listen to how other coaches talk about sharing your story and how your impact can change more lives than you can imagine by just sharing. For me, I'll give you my best example. And, um, and that was last year when I was diagnosed with an aneurysm and had um, my surgery to repair it. Um, something that I, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through in my life. And I've shared a lot about that. Um, and not only was that very therapeutic for me to like share and talk through, and I know like some people may think that's so weird. Why would you want to talk about your personal business like publicly? But I had so many people reach out to me 
that connected with that fear that I had that, you know, needing to lean hard into my faith and my friends and my family and ask for prayers and ask for strength and courage to get me through something that was so challenging um, and really had, and, and who gives a crap if that built my business or not, but it helped me as a human go through some really hard stuff. And that's why I continue to share my story because I know that there are other people out there that are struggling with certain things. And if I can help them get through that, then I'm doing my job as a coach. All right, so social media. Um, let me grab a drink, drink of water real quick. So typically I post like one time a day on Instagram. Um, sometimes every other day I, and sometimes less is more. Um, a lot of people ask early on as a coach, like how much do I need to post? What do I need to be posting about? Do I have to be you know, posting every day all the time? Do what's comfortable for you. If you have not used your social media like at all, then maybe now you start kind of increasing your presence on social media and just get comfortable with sharing a little bit more. The purpose of that is to kind of get your presence up and going. So that way, when you are sharing your story, people are going to see and respond to your posts too. I typically post anywhere from, I post anywhere from probably like five to 20 stories a day, but I don't usually do more than that. It depends on how rambly I get in the morning when I'm drinking my Energize um, or how rambly I get during the day. But I try to include regular call to actions and have regular things in there that people can see what it is that I do, whether I'm talking a little bit about somebody's successes in our accountability group, or I'm talking about how coaching has had an impact on my life, or I'm talking about healthy nutrition and how, you know, what I'm doing with my meal plan has helped me stay the course. Same thing with my posts. Um, we used to be a, you know, post five to eight times a day on social media and post at, you know, 10 and 12 and two and six and eight. Um, because people wanted to just be seen in other people's algorithms. And now it's kind of a less is more. Um, and I would much rather post like one time a day, something that was, that added value than try to post eight things a day that were just kind of nonsense um, or just trying to post just a post. So don't feel like you have to, you know, have this perfect example of social media. Um, I am very, very far from it. Um, but again, like I will say, you know, adding value when you can, peppering that in um, does, um, does play a big role. Um, like I said, don't be a so what post, like just a post it just to post it. Um, and then as far as growing your following, I kind of talked a little bit about that earlier, like adding in, um, you know, more people that you have um, stuff in common with, um, going in and, and um, following some people. Now, typically like the going rate for like Instagram is like to like keep it to like 50 people a day. Like if you're going to go in and like just follow a whole bunch of people, I try not to do more than like 10 to 25 at a time. Um, just because I don't want to look like a spammy person. Um, but if you're trying to build and grow your Instagram following, that's a great way to do it is to start, you know, following more people that you have things in common with. Um, I don't tend to follow other coaches. Um, just because I don't need to see what I other- I get that. Could you try again? Sorry, my watch is listening. Um, I don't need to see what other coaches are doing. I don't need to get tied up in the comparison game. I don't need to know what she's doing. I need to worry about me and I need to be authentically myself. Um, <clears throat> and your Instagram bio does matter. So um, I have put in mind, you know, things that I like to do. Um, and then, you know, as you know, sometimes I say bad words, um, that's apparent here in my IG bio. Um, and then I've added, you can add this link tree. You can go in and create an account on link tree. It's completely free and you can add these buttons in. So people can click here on my link tree and I'm going to just pull it up real quick because, um, my link tree has in it, it takes you just to like one page here. And it gives you a whole bunch of different links. So you can only add one link on Instagram. Um, but for me, that with Linktree, um, I have in there, you know, a link to join our virtual coach summit this week, a link to join our um, Muscle Burns Fat Info group, a link to join my boot camp, 
a link to join our team. There's a link to my blog. There's a link to my free group. You don't have to have all these things by any means. But for me, it made sense to create a Linktree account and put that link in there. Um, and then also like on Facebook, you can do that in your like profile picture. You can create kind of a bio. If you go to my page, you can click on my um, profile picture and, and there is a um, like a, I kind of just put a little bio in there and it, I've added in like ways that people can get in touch with me. Um, and you can also do that with your cover photo as well. You can add in like a little description on there and you can say, you know, whatever it is that you want. Um, so that's a good way to kind of, you know, you can always say, click on my profile pic for more info or something like that too. And moving on, does anybody have any questions or anything so far? I can't see the chat. No, I don't think so. If you do, feel free to like unmute or anything. Um, so here's just some ideas as far as sharing your own journey goes. You know, if you, um, if you want to take a quick pic of this um, or something like that, you can. Um, but as far as like adding value goes, um, these are some great ways to do it. I always, always try to share a transformation on every Tuesday, whether it's you know, something like this over here where, you know, I've got just some different camera angles or the one that I'm going to post um, tonight is one from me years ago versus me now and the muscle that I've gained on this journey. Um, but I do try to show, show like a transformation every Tuesday. And sometimes I share transformations from people in our accountability groups too. Um, but it just kind of gives me something to talk about on my social media and you don't have to have huge transformation. You don't have to have big, amazing, drastic results. Like you can literally just, sometimes for me, I post a one week difference and I talk about, you know, what I've done different in this last week. Um, or I post, you know, from last year versus this year. And like, look, I've gained 14 pounds in the last year, but I found balance and I'm happy and I'm healthy and I'm not worried about it. And that's one thing that I've taken away from this journey. Um, so again, and you don't, if you're a new coach, you don't have to, um, you know, if you've never completed a program, that's okay. Talk about where you were before you started versus where you are now by, you know, taking the steps to make yourself healthier and live a healthier lifestyle. And just some other ideas in here. Um, as far as no stock photos go, like I would not suggest going to like Google Shakeology and then post an image of like a bag of Shakeology or, you know, um, using, um, you know, like something that Beachbody shares on the Team Beachbody page, um, you know, where they talk about Coach Summit um, or, you know, like the Beachbody bevies that just launched yesterday. Like those are just things that I don't typically post because I don't want people to think that I'm here to just sell them a product. I want them to see my story and I want them to see what they can take away from my page and that it's not just that I'm here, you know, for the sales purpose. I'm here to kind of, you know, teach them a little bit about living a healthier lifestyle. And I'm going to, you know, showcase that through my words versus a picture um, from the coach online office. Um, and then I don't typically use Beachbody lingo, and I would probably just encourage you to do the same. I talk a lot about our accountability groups. I talk a lot about the shake that I drink every day. I talk about the workout program that I'm doing without really mentioning the workout. Um, I talked about just the other day how I just wrapped my six-week program and I feel amazing. And I've had several people reach out to me and say, what is this six-week program that you're doing? Because I would much rather them reach out to me than go, oh, six weeks of the work. Cool. Like, I'm just going to go Google that and sign up on Amazon. I would much rather them sign up with me. Yes, of course, there's a financial benefit there. But it's because I can provide them with much more value than they would get just by purchasing something online. Um, same thing with talking about Shakeology. There's plenty of people that can just go to Shakeology and buy Shakeology from the Shakeology.com website, but I would rather them sign up through me so I can explain to them how to make a shake that tastes like ice cream. Or I can explain to them the benefits of pre and probiotics and how they work in your digestive system. Um, same thing with performance line. I'd much rather ask somebody, you know, have somebody ask me, what is the performance protein that you use after your workouts that helps you with, you know, your muscles recovering versus me saying, you know, whatever it is, and then they just go, go Google it. I can teach them the benefits of why I prefer Beachbody Performance Line over anything else on the market because it's no artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, anything like that. Um, so that's just kind of how I feel about the no Beachbody lingo stuff. 
Um, and then just some apps on here too that you can use that will help. And this is this image right here is in the um, new coach handbook. Um, but just a couple other things, this unfold, and you don't have to use any of these. Don't feel like you have to use all of these. Don't feel like you have to, you know, use all these things to create um, whatever, but um, just some things that may help enhance your photos. Um, and by enhance, I don't mean like Photoshop and like, you know, make look artificial. Um, but for me, I use Snapseed to like kind of brighten up and make my images look a lot more vivid. Um, just because that's the style that I show on my Instagram. Um, you can go to Lightroom, which is from Adobe. You can download that app. Um, and there are presets on there that kind of make all of your pictures look the same. Um, not the same, same, but like the, you know, the, like kind of the over overlay on your pictures all look the same. Word swag is good for making graphics on your Instagram story. Um, Pick lab is great for doing before and after pictures. Zoom, obviously we're using right now. Your beach body on demand. Triller is what I typically make my workout videos on. Um, so just a few little apps here that you can use. Um, Unfold I use to make Instagram stories typically, and I really like that app. Um, there's templates in there and you can kind of add in your pictures and play around on that too. Um, as far as inviting goes, I will share that, um, that power of threes with you guys. Um, I did put that um, coach to prospect to challenge your document in our um, new coach email, but if for some reason you didn't see it, I can add it back into the um, message thread as well. Um, as far as inviting goes, guys, this is something that I try to do every day, whether it's just three people or it's more, or I'm sitting down on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm you know, sending out 15 invites. And again, I don't want you to think that inviting means I need to send 15 cold messages and copy and paste um, you know, to anybody who um, pops up in my Facebook that day. My invites are more like a personal conversation that I'm having with somebody who I've connected with somehow already, whether it's in my stories, whether it's from my post, whether um, you know, they, they said something on my post um, and then I messaged them privately um, and just started a conversation with them. Um, and this is really the bread and butter of building and growing your business. Now, you can certainly you know, show up on social media when you want to and post every now and then and wait for people to come to you. And I know that there are coaches out there that do that and that is completely fine. If that's what you wanna do with your business, that's completely fine, whatever your comfort level is. But if you do want to grow your business, this is a key step that I, you know, as much as, I want to say this from a place of love, you just got to tear the bandaid off and do it. Um, and, and for me, that was the hardest step because I had that fear of judgment and fear of failure and, you know, fear of rejection that I carried with me for so long. But again, like the cup of coffee, you know what, if I don't ask, they're never going to know. And chances are they're going to sign up with somebody else when they're ready. If I haven't planted that seed. And boy, oh boy, when you've seen somebody that's like, man, oh, I've seen her post, like she keeps talking about, you know, how frustrated she is with, you know, being on an, this diet and that diet, I should probably reach out to her. And then I don't. And the next week she's like, I'm so glad that not Ashley reached out to me. And now I've joined not Ashley's group because not Ashley reached out to me and planted that seed and gave me the idea. So I joined not Ashley's group. Um, and that stinks because I'm like, man, ah, if I would have just, if I would have just, so as far as inviting goes, people aren't going to be offended. Um, I will say like I, um, was reached out to by a company. I won't mention names. Um, but I had made a post about like my, um, like, like my laugh lines and like, you know, my kid pointing out my wrinkles and somebody had messaged me and was like, I saw your post about your wrinkles and I really think you could use the skincare. And I was like, oh, that's not the way to do that. No, that's not <laughs> how we do things. Um, so, you know, I just, and I, and, and I think what's so great about Beachbody is that we share a healthy lifestyle and we help encourage people to live a healthier lifestyle. And we don't target and prey on people um, in their vulnerable state. Um, and I know that I don't need to say that to you guys, but like that totally offended me when like somebody was like, 
hey, uh, have you tried this wrinkle cream? And I'm like, that's, mm, no. Um, but as far as the inviting goes, I just, I feel like the more that we do it, the more that we get comfortable with it, um, the, the easier it is. And some will, some won't, who cares what's next? Um, so just know that there are gonna be people that say yes, there are gonna be people that say no, there are probably going to be more people that say no than say yes, and that's okay, but you've planted the seed. And know that when they're ready, they'll come to you and know that that's somebody else that um, you, know, you have talked to and, um, and that you've given them you know, the solutions that you use um, and, and again, planted that seed. Um, there are some scripts within the team handbook um, some Google Doc links. There's all kinds of stuff in our team page too. You can sit and read through all of the scripts all of the time. And I will tell you this, you can say all of the right things to the wrong person and the wrong person's not going to sign up. And you can say all of the wrong things to the right person and the right person will sign up. So I know that like there's messages that I've gone back to and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that was so cheesy and that sounded so salesy, but she still signed up. Well, it's because the timing was right and she was ready. And I could have said, you know what? I don't know a dang thing about anything that I'm doing. And she still would have said yes. Um, and I can follow a script perfectly to a T and I can copy and paste and with eloquent words and fancy, you know, all the T's crossed and I's dotted and the wrong person is still gonna say, you know what, I'm not interested. Um, so know that it's not you, it's, it's them. It has everything to do with timing. It has everything to do with um, if someone is really ready and willing to invest in their health um, and doesn't have anything to do with the way you asked or how you asked it, um, that a lot of the times it comes down to um, um, like a risk versus benefit or you know, helping them understand the value of what we do as coaches. And don't overthink it, tear off the band-aid. Um, so here are a couple um, sample invites and you can you know, take a screenshot of this or I can send you these slides whenever we're done too. Um, so just a couple little ideas you know, that you can use. Um, you can um, share you know, these kind of things, you can put them in a Google Doc. Um, and, um, and these are just kind of some little samples. So I wanted to share these with you guys, um, just that way you can get some ideas from. And I have a couple other ones, like for people that are watching your stories, um, putting myself out there isn't always easy. I'm on a mission to help inspire other people, um, or show other people that this is possible. Um, what do you follow me for? Do you follow me for faith, my fitness? wild mom life or have you thought about doing what i do as a coach um hey i love your instagram page i love following you um i think i just blew up your page i you know like some of your pictures or whatever you do have such a powerful message i've all i'm always looking for other positive influencers to join my team have you ever thought about becoming a coach um and then some sign up stuff and again like that challenger to prospect i can't even remember what it's called prospect to challenger document is really, really great for kind of working through some of this stuff. Um, and just kind of like, okay, you know what, you're ready, let's do it. Um, did you want to sign up as a coach too and get the extra 25% off? You can leave this two to three friends out, you can add that in there, totally up to you. But every conversation I have with somebody, I talk to them about signing up as a coach. And a lot of times people will say, oh, I don't want to coach. And I'll say, you know what, cool, you don't have to coach. You can just get the 25% discount that I get. You can use that to your benefit. And if for some reason your best friend says, you know what, I wanna join you, you have the ability to sign them up under you and get compensated for that. That's typically what I say to people when I talk to them about signing up as a coach. <clears throat> so kind of what we were talking about, people are gonna tell you no, you're gonna have some no's, you're gonna um, hear people are gonna say, I'm not interested, no thanks, thanks but no thanks. Again, like nothing to be offended about because I hear no's all day long. In fact, we talk about a go for no tracker, which is like a sheet, you know, with a hundred blanks on it. And, um, and we just write down conversations that we're having, names that we're having, like here is my um, <clears throat> list of a hundred right here. And as I have conversations, um, down in the blanks, 
Um, and you know what? A lot of times people will say no, but I'm not here to help the people that aren't ready. I'm here to help the people that are. And that's why I have those conversations regularly. And then I think about the coffee. If I don't ask, they'll never know. And then just some simple tips for success. Um, you know, a lot of people will say like, um, being a coach is a lot of work, but it's not work if you love what you do. And being a coach, we kind of take like the work out of it. Yes, we work to build a business, but it doesn't feel like work. Um, so for me, as a full-time coach now, some days I put in one hour a day, some days I put in six to eight, some days I put in four. I have a very, very balanced schedule that I work on my own terms when I want to work as a coach. Um, and fortunately for me, I feel, feel very, very blessed that this company has allowed me to kind of do that and create that as well. And I'll tell you guys, like it, it really does, like if you are all in for this, it is amazing. And you can do this at, you know, whatever, if you're like, I'm all in, let's go. Like I have some huge goals. Awesome. Like, let's do it. Let's hit the ground running. And if you're like, you know, I, this is awesome. I kind of want to just help a couple people here and there. You can totally do that too. Um, but it does take a little bit of work, but it really, honestly, when you're helping people get results and you're seeing people transform their lives, it doesn't feel like work. And when we get to be better versions of ourselves along the way, I think the whole world benefits, right? Um, who you surround yourself with is everything, which is why we have accountability groups, which is why we talk about podcasts and why we talk about personal development and why we fill our minds with that positivity. Developing that morning routine is so very important. I really saw my business transform after I read The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Uh, and that really helped me get in that mindset of having a morning routine, of how important it was to get up 30 minutes earlier and use my devotional and write in my journal and have some downtime where I could just be alone and not be, you know, have a child clinging to me and have all the demands of the day start um, having that little bit of extra time in the morning to kind of set the stage for the day. Creating that vision, get re getting really crystal clear on what you want to create, not only with this business, but in your own personal life as well. Um, knowing that, you know, that energy, that this is a like momentum business that, and I found that when I take my foot off the gas, like I just kind of feel it. And like I've noticed our team feels it. And um, when you continue with that momentum, when you continue with that energy, your challengers feel it, your groups feel it. Um, and I ran groups before where I just, my heart wasn't in it. And I had to be honest and I had to say, man, guys, like I am really struggling this month. I am sorry. Like, I just feel like blah. And like being, you know, true and transparent um, is completely acceptable in this business. Um, but know that, you know, the energy that you carry, like, You've probably heard somebody say, like, put it out into the world, put, you know, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, put it out into the world because you, your energy attracts the same kind of thing, um, whether you believe that or not. Um, I, you know, I tend to believe that, like, um, you know, if you're surrounded by somebody who's like in a bad mood, like that can totally transfer over. And like, you can, like, if my husband's like had a really rough day and he's grumpy, I find that like, I get really grumpy too. And I'm like, I want to be around you, dude. Like your attitude is totally bringing me down. And I know I've been like that to him too. Um, and then vice versa. And you can tell, like, if you're, you know, in a crowd of people, you can tell who has, you know, that energy and that momentum. Um, and that's kind of how I feel about about coaching. You know, I can tell that like when I bring that energy, like my challengers can feel it. My team can feel it. My, I can feel it in my posts. Um, and then moving on, learning to master your time is really important as well. So like this tracker is key for kind of defining the time that you have to work your business. Um, and what I've done before is I've used a planner and I've blocked out my time where I'll go, okay, I know from nine to 10 AM, I've got an hour where I can get a solid hour of work done. And I know that from three to 4 PM, I've got, you know, meal prep that I'm going to do. And I know that from six to 7 AM, I've got my workout that I'm doing. Um, and I know after the kids go to bed from nine to 10 PM, I'm doing a little bit of catching up, um, with, um, with my business. 
Um, don't make excuses. Um, know that you know you are doing some amazing work as a coach. You are inspiring other people, and you have the ability to make your business build and grow. Um, leading with the servant's heart. Um, I try to carry that in through my posts too. How can I help? How you know as, as I'm having a conversation with someone, how can I help? What is it that I can help you with? No judgment. Get rid of the comparison game. Work with the working, not with the willing. Um, that's a little bit like harsh sometimes, but something that, you know, like I have heard every excuse in the book in the six years, almost six years I've been a coach. I really want to change. I really want to get healthy. Okay. What are you doing? What are the steps that you're doing? Have you done any workouts this week? Nope, I haven't. Okay. Well, I'm here to support you, but I can't do it for you. And same thing with your coaching business, guys. I am here to support you 100%. Um, you got to go, Carrie. That's okay. Um, here to support you 100% and here to help you 100%, but I can't do it for you. Um, and I will certainly meet you in the middle and I will match your efforts. Um, and I think that's, I think that's pretty fair. Um, and know that, you know, if you want those next steps. I can't read your mind. I know you can't read mine. Um, so sometimes, you know, Ashley, like, all right, I'm ready. What can I do next? Help me with this. You know, I need to accomplish this. Um, and we'll work on those things together. I think I am just about done here. Sorry, guys, didn't realize it was after nine. Um, so in the um, uh, BB Links app, or if you go into the back office, also in our team handbook, there's all kinds of, there's the same video on how to use share a cart. I think I've shared it with you guys too, but understanding how to use that share a cart to get enrollment done, um, understanding why we do um, challenge packs versus just signing people up with everything individually because the challenge pack has the best value and it brings everything um, to the table and then offering that 25% off um, discount. Now if they don't get the 25% off when they sign up, but it's on all future orders that they get 25% off because the challenge pack is already bundled together. And usually the conversation I have with people is, you know what, like 12 months of Beachbody On Demand is 100 bucks. For 60 bucks more this month, you get access to our newest program. You get a set of bod jump ropes and you get access to two of our nutrition programs plus 30 days of either Shakeology or Performance Line. It's like a $500 value that you're getting for 160 bucks. There is a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, if you want to send your stuff back, you certainly can. But what's great about using those supplements for the first 30 days is that fitness plus nutrition plus accountability gets results and you're getting it all wrapped together. <clears throat> and then remember why you're here. Why did you sign up in the first place? What sparked your interest? Bring that to your coaching business every day. And it's okay if your why changes. It's okay if last month you were like, you know what, I just want to get my Shakeology paid for. And this month you're like, you know what, my transmission just went out in my car and I really want to earn some money so I can fix my transmission. Or it's okay if last month you were like, you know what, I really want to coach because my somebody in my family is really unhealthy and I want to help them get started. And then this month you're like, man, this is amazing. I want to help like 10 more people. Like, how do I do this? Um, and for me, my why was sure to get my Shakeology paid for. That was great. But I wanted a community of other women that I could do this with because I never really had that. And I wanted to create a community of others that could support, uplift, encourage, inspire, empower all of those things together. And then as my business grew, I began to see much more potential. And I thought, you know what? Like this has impacted me in so many ways financially, if I can help other women with that too, as far as coaching goes, if I can help other women say, you know what, I just paid my mortgage this month because of coaching, or I didn't have to take out loans for school um, because of coaching, or I was able to upgrade my vehicle this year, or you know what, I was able to pay off $5,000 of credit card debt last year. Like those are things that like are amazing goals. And um, my why continues to change and evolve, and it's okay if yours does too take action. Um, there's no time like the present and there's no perfect time to start. Um, I think one foot in front of the other is great. And if you need additional, like if you need an additional boost, I can boost you. Um, all right, y'all. So that is what I have for slides. And 
I'm sorry, it's 9.15. It went a little bit longer than I had planned, but um, I covered a lot. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, there are some messages in the chat. Let me take a look. Um, yes, Michelle, I will post the slides. Um, I'm gonna post this call in our team page and I'll post these slides in there as well, um, but I can throw them in the message thread too. I'll throw that in the message thread as well. Um, and yeah, does anybody need anything else? Have any questions, anything I can help you with? No, kind of a lot to um, digest, but one day at a time. Um, and then next week we'll do, um, I can't do next Tuesday, um, but next week we'll um, try to catch up and do another kind of a next step after this call. We are gonna be doing an Emerald call. Um, I won't be leading it. There will be somebody else on our team that will lead the Emerald call next week. So you guys are able to jump on that. Um, and then we will likely be doing a new coach um, power hour at some point too um, in the, within the next week. And I'll drop some ideas in the message thread too. And you guys can kind of give me times and stuff that work. Um, and anyone that wants to do a, I like to do a one-on-one -on -one call right away too, to kind of just talk about your goals and talk about some next steps. So if anyone is interested in that or setting up a time to kind of just chat one-on-one -on -one and I can field any questions and we can talk about kind of what you want to do next, by all means, just reach out to me and let me know what works for you and we'll just make it work. Alrighty. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for taking the time to get on. I do appreciate it. You guys have a great night.